episode 49. You are listening to the new Glam Gal podcast, the podcast where style meets confidence. Conquer the frustration of trying on clothes and learn to dress and love the body you are in. There are no size or weight requirements here. I'm your host, Miss J. Join me, won't you? Hey, Glam Gal, welcome back to the podcast. On this week's podcast, we're continuing our summer party. Think of it more like summer party preparation, like pre-wedding preparation where all the girls get together in one room and primp and prep and preen right before the big event. Think of all the Glam Gals in one room together, primping, prepping, and preening before any summer beach party whether it's at a pool, whether it's at the actual beach, whether it's just a summer-themed barbecue, a potluck, a chance for folks to get together. I want to make sure that you are not only walking in owning that room, you're fully comfortable in your own skin, but you're also looking extra fierce and stylish. Now, the first episode in the series was last week where we talked about beach-ready bodies and owning the idea that you can take up public space. You are allowed to take up public space. You are allowed to walk into a room and own it. And judging everyone as worse or better off than yourself is not a prerequisite to feeling confident. So I hope last week it kind of opened up your mind to the idea that you are allowed to take up space in public. You don't have to be a certain size, a certain weight, have the perfect bathing suit, have the perfect quote unquote beach body in order to actually go to a beach or a beach party or any party for that matter. The first step to owning any room you walk into is believing that you're allowed to take up space in the room you're walking in. So to continue that, I want to tell you something I learned in my most recent travels. I went to visit my best friend in Abu Dhabi. Of the five days I was there, we spent probably three in the evening on the beach, right around sunset. Because, you know, that's that very Instagrammable, rose-colored time of day. It's actually not the reason we were on the beach. We love to sit on the beach and talk about business. I actually have a really great picture of my best friend on a beach lounge chair in Shayla and Abaya with these fabulous sunglasses answering business emails. She and I have had some amazing business breakthroughs on beaches, first time in Virginia and now in Abu Dhabi. It was also an opportunity for me to really decompress and tell my best friend all of the things. So Abu Dhabi is part of the United Arab Emirates. It is a predominantly Muslim country and a lot of the local women there wear Shayla and Nabaya. They wear a veil and they wear a complete like a black gown if you will over their regular clothing. Now I went to a beach and the funny thing is for the first time in my life I didn't have to worry about wearing a bathing suit In fact, I wore jeans and a blouse every day when we went to the beach. I didn't worry about having the right cover-up for my swimsuit. I belong to a religious background that is quite modest, so I didn't have to worry about the modesty of my swimsuit either because I was in jeans and a blouse. This is the first time I think I had gone to the beach without any pressure about what I was wearing. And it occurred to me that this is a lesson that all of my glam gals could really take from is that you could go to the beach and not have to wear a bathing suit. Wait, what? Right? You could go to the beach, have a fabulous time, really engage with the person around you, the people around you. You could have a lovely time watching the sunset, feeling the cool ocean air, taking a little nap answering business emails, whatever's your pleasure. You don't have to wear a bathing suit. In fact, the bathing suit was completely a non-issue. It didn't even cross my mind. When I thought I went to the beach in April three times without a bathing suit, without a lounge cover-up, without a concern for what my body looked like or if it was modest enough, none of that. I just went and enjoyed myself. I want you to have that same experience. I want you to know that you too are capable of going on a beach, 
and not worrying about what you're wearing, not worrying about what other people are wearing, like not worrying at all about your clothing or your body or your weight or your size and just feeling the ocean air and enjoying. You could go to a pool and stick your toes in and wiggle them around and just enjoy the cool water on your feet. You could go to a barbecue and just enjoy the smells of all the lovely food around you, the sound of children laughing and playing. You really could just enjoy your environment and choose not to worry about your clothing or your body. I know this is a little mind-blowing for some of you because you've actually never experienced this phenomenon. The idea of a party brings up all this anxiety and shame and this dread because you have to wear the perfect outfit. You have to be the perfect size. You're not there yet. And there's all this amp up pre-advanced anxiety about what you think other people might think, what you think other people may say. And it's really all the really crappy things you're saying it to yourself in your own head in advance of whatever this party is. I have a little bit of news for you. We are all just human and to a certain degree we're all walking into an event or a party with our own set of insecurities, our own set of worries and niggling doubts. Welcome to the party. You are not alone in that. What will set you apart is learning to manage that. And practicing the ability of really just enjoying an outing without having all of that background chatter in your brain. I want you to believe that it might be possible that you could one day be able to just enjoy the beach without any swimsuit drama. It's so amazing to me because when I was in Abu Dhabi and I was on these lounge chairs outside of these you know, swanky resorts, these very clean beaches that are very different from California. There were all these other women in Shayla and Abaya enjoying the beach, taking selfies, smiling, playing with their children. Like this is just completely normal. It's not expected that they pick out the perfect swimsuit to go to the beach. They're completely covered when they go to the beach. It's not even a thought. And not having the perfect swimsuit didn't detract from their enjoyment of the beach because that's not why they were there. So, my darling glam gal, in this second installment of this ongoing beach preparation party, I want you, in terms of your mindset work, to not only just accept the idea that you're allowed to take up public space, but the second, like, next level of that is that you're allowed to enjoy that public space without having the prerequisite chatter and body shaming. Like that feels so necessary as preparation for going to the beach or the pool. Like you have to have a healthy dose of shame. You have to have a healthy dose of guilt over what you ate yesterday and the week before and the month before and the six months preceding that. That's so ingrained in American culture that this is like the follow up, like the follow up to a beach outing or a public space outing is that you have to have just the right amount of shame. But what if, what if you didn't? Open your eyes and your mind up to that idea. That is your mindset homework. I want you to practice the idea. It's possible that I can enjoy a summer event without any of the swimsuit drama. And your style homework for this week, and this is something I did learn while sitting on that beach in Abu Dhabi, was there are beach essentials that you should take with you from a style standpoint that have absolutely nothing to do with your body, weight, or your body size. I would have killed for a giant glass of water. And luckily, I think the third time we went to the beach, we actually did order juice and water. But a big, big old thing of water. It's good for your body. It's good for your skin. And sitting out in the sun long enough and with the wind whipping at you, you're going to get dehydrated. Carrying some water? Yeah, that's stylish. Taking care of your skin is stylish, which brings me to my second style item. Good sunscreen. Now, (laughs) my friend and I had an interesting experience when we went to Virginia last year. We used this uh, 
we used a sunscreen that caused our clothes to turn orange. So look at the chemical content of the sunscreen you're using. Um, there are natural sunscreens out there, something worth exploring that's not going to stain your clothing, but you might want to color test it before you wear an all white outfit to the beach and get stuck with one of these janky sunscreens. You might want to just color test the corner of you know, a white blouse with your sunscreen to make sure no staining will take place so it doesn't ruin your style mojo. And third, some type of actual physical sun barrier, like sunglasses to protect your face from wrinkling up in the sun, a giant fabulous hat, which I'm partial to. I have a collection of like 40 hats. And that's it. I mean, that's how you can have a stylish beach outing that has nothing to do with your body size or your weight. Sunscreen, some water, and some fabulous sun covering. A hat and glasses, either or or both. You can go all in and be extra fabulous. And you know how I feel about being extra? You should do it. Be fancy on purpose. So your mission, my darling glam gal, is to take on what we learned last week and build on it. I am allowed to take up public space. I am allowed to enjoy my time in public space. It's possible that I can enjoy myself and leave behind all the swimsuit drama. And then take those three essential summer staples. A stylish pair of sunglasses, a fabulous hat, sunscreen, and a big old bottle of water, boo-boo. And just roll. That is so stylish. I can see it already, darling. If you need help wrapping your brain around the possibility that you could enjoy your summer and leave behind all the swimsuit drama, sign up for a free coaching session. Reach out at coach at judithgatan.com. Let's get you in the right headspace so you can fully enjoy summer breezes, children laughing, the smell of barbecue, the salty sea air. I want you to be able to enjoy all of these experiences fully. And you totally can. All right, let's get it. Miss J out.